Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode of the Artificial Horizon Lua build series. Now in the last episode I showed you guys how you could add these rolling numbers for both the speed and altitude. And this episode we're going to finish off this build series by having a look at how to have a roll indicator here at the bottom of our screen. Now you can see as I roll left and right, this little triangle here actually moves and tells me how much we're rolling. So you can see how that is moving. However, we've got a little indication here. So for example, this line would be a zero degree roll, saying we can maybe have a 15 degree, a 30 degree and a 45 degree roll. On here, a little indicator showing us how much we are actually rolling when we're looking at our artificial horizon. So I'm gonna show you guys how to build all of this in this episode. So first things first, let's go back over to our example that we finished off in the last episode. Now, just a disclaimer, like we always do, this is not meant to be a math tutorial. This is not meant to be a full on Lua tutorial. It's just meant to be showing you how I go and build my creations here in Stormux. This episode is also intended that you have watched all the other previous ones because we are building on top of that. So if you have missed the last couple episodes, definitely go and check them out. I will leave a link to them. So let's start building. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump into our actual microcontroller. And the first thing we want to do is go into the logic and head over to our script. Now we're going to go into the first script where we started at this whole series off with. And what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to be drawing a new circle. You know, imagine the, imagine the little indicator at the bottom. We're going to be doing a new little circle and we're going to make the lines and the triangle move around that circle. So the first thing we want to do is we want to build a new radius. Now we could use the existing radius, but that's the same size of the screen. Uh, we want something a little bit smaller so it doesn't hit the bottom of the screen, for example. So what we're going to do is let's do, let's call this our small radius. So small rad. And we're going to do the width plus the height. So exactly what we had before. Uh, however, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go and divide that. Let's go and divide that by, um, let's do five. Okay, that should give us uh, a little bit of a smaller screen size. So let's put that in some brackets. Okay, so that should give us a small screen size. The next thing we need to do is we are also going to go and find the bottom of the screen. Now we've already got all this math here that's telling us where we are in relevance to our role, but we just want the bottom of our screen because those lines in theory don't move. It's the little red triangle that does. So let's go and find the bottom of our screen and let's call this our bottom and let's use bottom line. And then we're going to use exactly the same math we have here. So exactly the same. We're just going to copy and paste this. The only difference is we're going to get rid of this minus roll tilt because we don't want it to move when our actual roll moves and the screen moves. We just want that line to stay put. Once we've got that, so we've added the small rad and we've added this bottom line in here. We're now going to go and scroll down and we've got this math in here that goes and finds the points on the screen. And we're going to add some more math. Now let's just go underneath here and let's start doing some more stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste the existing stuff we have for x1, y1, x2, and y2. We're going to copy that and we're going to paste it in. Okay, so now you can see I've got four brand new points. Let's call this x11, uh, y11, x21, and y22. Just for reference. Make sure it's a different number than what we already have. So we're going to do the center of the screen, which is perfectly fine. And we're going to plus it by the radius. Now we're not going to be using the normal radius. We're going to be using our small radius. So I'm going to go and copy that and I'm going to go and paste that in. Okay. Now the problem is when we go and draw this, this is actually going to go and draw that these points are going to be exactly the same thing. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to create another small radius. Okay. So exactly another small red, but this one is actually going to be the top of the line. Okay. So it's going to be exactly the same as a small radius. And let's just go and let's say minus five pixels. We could minus 10. It's really up to you. Okay, so we're taking the small radius, which is already defined, and we're just minusing five pixels from it, which gives us a small rad top. Okay, we're going to go and put that in there. Perfect, small rad top, small rad top. We're going to do the math.cast and the math.sin, both same here. And then when it comes into here where we have our role in the pitch, we're actually going to delete that off. And we're going to delete all of this off here. Okay, and inside those brackets is now where we can go and add our new role that we've just gone and created. Okay, which is going to be this bottom line. So we're going to go and grab that and we're going to put it inside here. So now you can see I've got 
theoretically the bottom of our screen, which is going to give me a point. And then I've got five pixels above that, another point. So now all that's left is to go and draw a line on our screen. So I'm going to go into the help. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find where it's got screen. There we go. Draw a line, copy that, paste it in. And what we're going to do is we're going to do X11, Y11, X21 and Y21. Okay, just make sure they've got the right numbers there. So that should, in theory, draw a line at the bottom of my screen. And obviously with a white color, because that's the most recent color. So let's go check the errors. Let's click on done and let's go and spawn that in and see if that's drawn a little line at the bottom of our screen. And there you go. You've now got a little line on your screen that doesn't move. Okay, just a nice little line on your screen. Now we can repeat that same process for the 15 degree, 30 degree and 45 degree. The only thing you have to do different is when we go into our little mic controller and back into our Lewis script, the only thing different here is you just want to change your angle. So let's create a, another one. So bottom line, let's do left 15, just so we know which one that is. And we're going to go in here and we're going to say, hey, this is actually 95 degrees, okay, 95 degrees. So that's the only difference what we're doing there. Everything else can stay the same. We can then scroll down, we can go and do some more math. So we're going to once again, go and copy all of this all over again. Okay, so you see I've got all of that again. And let's use 31 and let's use 41. You can change these numbers or these values to whatever you want. I'm just gonna put that in there for right now. And what we're going to do is we can still use the small rad and the small rad top. The only difference is instead of using the bottom line, we are now going to use this bottom line 15. Okay, so we're gonna grab that and we're gonna put that instead. Okay, so that's gonna make it a little bit different. Put that all in there and once again, underneath it, you can now go and add another draw line like I'm doing right now. Grab it, put it inside here and we're doing 31 and 41. Now that should have gone and drawn a line another 15 degrees over. So let's go and check that. Perfect. Click on done, confirm. And let's go and see if it drew a line 15 degrees to the left. Okay, and there we go. We got another line just over there. Okay, you can make these lines a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. It is completely up to you. And also the degree or the angle that you want it at is once again up to you. So you can see I did, I did sorry, five degrees. If I want to uh, 15, let's go and up it to, let's say 105. That's now showing a 15 degree mark on our screen. So you can play around with this as much as you want. If you want the line smaller or bigger, you can play around with this five value. I said five pixels, but you could drop it down to two pixels. You could drop it to 10 pixels. It's up to you. Let's go and check that again. I went and altered the radius. Let's go and have a look. And now you can see we've got another line over there and we can carry on drawing them all along the screen. Okay, so you can continue building on and building on. So guys, I'm going to carry on adding some more lines on the screen and then I'll meet you once I finish that and we are back. Okay, so we've just gone and finished drawing the line. So you can see I've got a zero degree marker. I've got a 15 degree marker, 30 degree marker, and I've also got a 45 degree marker. So you can see that we've got these different markers. Now, the next thing I want to do is I could add some more obviously to the right. That's exactly the same process. But the next thing I want to do is I actually want to draw a little triangle on here to show me where we are in terms of our roll. Now you can see there's nothing actually telling us how we're rolling at the moment. So we want to go and draw this little triangle on our screen. So in order to do that, we're going to jump straight back into our mic controller again, go back into the Lewis script, and we're going to start by creating another smaller radius. So I'm going to go and tell it here. So let's do small rad 
uh, let's do top and let's do triangle. Okay, I like to use this underscore just to be able to read this a little bit easier and know exactly what it's used for. So we're going to come in here, we're going to use the exact same thing we had here. So we're going to take this small dot rad and let's go and minus another five from that. Okay, so that's going to minus another five degrees to make it even smaller. Okay, so now we've got another little triangle here, which is pretty cool. The next thing we need to do is we actually need to go and define the points of that radius that's going to be moving. Now, we already learned that the lines don't move. Yeah, they're pretty straightforward. So they're just over here and they're not moving. Now, what we want to do is we want to do the same thing. The only difference is we actually want them to move this time. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and take exactly what we had already. Okay, so we can take these lines. We could take this one if we want to. Let's take this. Okay, and we're going to paste that in. So we've got our roll math.rad 90 degrees minus the roll tilt. Okay, now moving on from that, what we can actually go and do is we can change this value and we can change this. So let's use, uh, let's do, this is the left triangle and let's do another one and that's going to be the right of the triangle. Okay. So two new points on our screen. Okay, so left triangle, right triangle. We're going to say that the left one is let's say 95 and let's say the other one is let's say 85. Okay, so that should give us five degrees on either side there from where we can go and draw a line. Okay. So we've got all that. Now we can repeat once again the same process. So we're going to come down at the bottom here and we're going to be drawing three of these. OK, so we're going to go and grab this. And I'm going to go and plop it down just over here. And in theory, I need three of these. So let's call this X, X1, Y, Y1. And we're going to get rid of what we have inside of here. Perfect. And the radius we are going to go and change. So we're going to use this one and we're going to use this one. So we're going to have the top of our triangle and then the bottom of our triangle. OK, so we can actually in theory just keep it the same like this. And now we can go and draw our points. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and add our different rolls in here. OK, so I can go and grab my rolls. So let's see. So I've already got my left and my right, which I'm going to use in a few minutes. But I'm just going to go and take my regular roll, which is this one over here. OK, so that's just my regular roll. And let's go and throw that in there. OK, so that's going to be in theory the bottom of our triangle. We're going to now repeat the same thing twice more times. OK, so one and two. Let's call this two. Let's call this three. OK, let's define our new radius, which is here at the top. So this is our small rad top. Oh, sorry, small rad triangle. So we're going to grab that and we're going to stick that in instead. And now when we come into replacing this role over here, we're now going to take our new roles that we've just created. OK, so we're going to go all the way to the top. Let's go and get our left triangle. So that's our new one. So that's going to go in there and let's go and grab our right one, which is just over there. And then the last part of the process is going to be to go and draw a triangle on our screen. We've got six points or three points in theory. Let's go and get a triangle. Uh, let's use triangle filled this time and let's go and copy that. We'll make it red too. Why not? So let's get a color. So we'll go back and grab a screen set color. And for that, let's use a nice color. of Let's do red. So we'll do 200 by zero by zero. And then the X. Sorry, I took a rectangle. I was meant to take a triangle, triangle filled, not rectangle filled, triangle filled. Grab that, put it in. And now you can see here we're going to do X, X, one, Y, Y, one, X, X, two, Y, Y, two and X, X, three and Y, Y, three. OK, so that should be drawing a triangle on our screen. We can go and check the errors, click on done, update that, spawn it in and let's go and see if we get a triangle on our screen. And there's our little triangle. Now, it's not the greatest looking one at the moment. You can play around with it and I'm going to show you guys how you can do that. But you can see as we move, it actually moves on the screen, which is perfect. See how that's moving on our screen as we're rolling, which is really cool. So if you want to go and adjust the size of your triangle, you can do that. So you have two different options. If you go back into your Lewis script, if you want to make it wider, OK, so if you want to make it wider, you're going to adjust these values here for your left and your right triangle. So we could make this like 90, for example, we could make this 80, oh, sorry, 180. So that should make it a little bit more wider. 
So we're increasing it by five and then minusing five on the other one. Let's go and check that out. So you can see how it's changed the size of that triangle at the bottom of your screen. Now you can obviously make it shorter too, because you can see this one's quite long. So if you want to go and make it shorter, you can either make it shorter at the top or you can make it shorter at the bottom. If you want to make it shorter at the top, you can go and bring this down to like two if you wanted to, or if you wanted to make it shorter at the bottom, you would actually need to create a new piece. Okay, over here, you would need to create a new one of these. I'm just gonna go make it shorter at the top, so let's just do minus two, for example. Go and spawn that in, click on update, confirm it, and it should be shorter now. And there you go, okay? So you can go and see how we've gone and done that. You can obviously draw more lines on the right of the screen. Uh, you could also, if you wanted to, you could clamp this because you can see as I roll to like 90 degrees, it keeps on going and going and going. So you could clamp this if you wanted to. So all you would have to do is just clamp the number that's coming in. So if we go back into our Lewis script, I uh, go up here, we're getting it from, let's see, we're getting it from the roll tilt. So what we could do is we could go and clamp this value over here if you wanted to. So ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for the Lua build series. I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, it's been a lot of fun and obviously you can customize this more and more as much as you want to. It is completely up to you. I've got my completed one that I am just finishing off and that will be up on the workshop in a few more days. I've added a few more features on there, but nothing, nothing truly amazing. Uh, these are the main things that hopefully you guys have learned along with me during this build series. And I've had a lot of fun you know, getting into the math part of it, getting to the little part of it and building a really cool little screen. If you guys want to see some more little build series, maybe on how to build like a little dashboard uh, or how to build some little graphs or how to build little dials, uh, let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up in this video. And if you have enjoyed this video, also hit that like button uh, and hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss any of my future content. And until the next one, we will see you then.